Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 2. And I'm gonna live in Strange Town because that seems fitting. I'm gonna make a version of myself and we're gonna see how it goes. Creating pets. This game has a god complex. Ah, so that's how I got here. I crashed on my UFO spacecraft. That makes a lot of sense. Hey, uh, your wind farm is broken. Nothing is moving. <laughs> <laughs> the neighborhood is so small. It's just these houses here and, and that's it. Okay. All right, that's fine. Let's get creating. Well, me. Create a sim. All right. Name, call me Kevin. Jesus, I didn't realize the Sims 2 facial hair was so bloody terrifying. Look at that. Oh, grognak glasses. No, we won't, we won't put those on. I'm making me, not grognak. Does this look anything like me? Be honest. Uh, unless you're not being nice, then don't be honest. Lie and tell me I look like this. Uh, there's not enough customization. Like, I want to change the hair color but i can't i was only go blonde but uh, no that's even further all right you know what that'll do it's better than the sims one version of me all right this kevin wants to be popular and let's just make him a scorpio whatever the default is oh i forgot about turn ons and turn offs okay you like uh, a hard worker who is near death <laughs> perfect and you hate the unemployed <laughs> i wonder what he's after oh wait now i gotta enter a family name but his name is call me kevin Kevin. Oh, no. The YouTuber. <laughs> Call me Kevin the YouTuber is his full name. The, the YouTuber family. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're off to a terrible start. We are not building a home for you. Uh, this is the cheapest, I think. We can go with this with that. You know what? I want you to have some money to do what you want with. And look, it's lead three. <laughs> really? You had to put in this tree to ruin it loading the the youtuber family oh no is this not furnished please tell me this is furniture where is he going he's celebrating <laughs> i don't know if he's celebrating or angry okay no he's celebrating which by the way is terrifying okay we have all the basics and we've six grand to get the rest of what we need which includes a feckin fridge for some reason i don't know why that wasn't here let's be real kevin you're never going to cook uh we'll get a microwave instead this kitchen might be the worst thing i've ever seen and i don't mean just about rooms i mean just in general the worst thing ever to exist oh we gotta get one of these of course that can replace where <laughs> where the oven was i don't know you know what let's put this the center of this living room here this is going to be your entertainment for now you can choose between a phone and a smoke alarm because I'm on a budget. I'll go with the phone. I mean, I don't even have an oven. Surely there's not going to be a fire. Why do I feel like this is foreshadowing something? Okay, this bed is pretty good without breaking the bank. And last but not least, I feel like a very Kevin thing to do is to buy an old project and never invest time in it whatsoever so it just sits there forever. Like, I'll attempt to fix it up so he'll have a car, but I just don't see it happening. Well, off to a pretty depressing start so far. He's like, it's July. <laughs> He's got this snowman speaker. <laughs> He's just sitting down to read. Or maybe it's his diary. Dear diary, I hate myself. <gasps> newspaper lady. All right, great. I'm going to get a newspaper. I'm going to get a job. Oh, God, he's eager. Fucking hell. He's seen what boredom is and he doesn't like it. Law? I could I could imagine doing law. Um, I don't want to go into any career track that I cannot pronounce. Entertainment? That might be fun. You know what? Go with that. A stand-up comedian. I mean, in a way, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment anyway. Oh, wait. He's been on ultra time. God damn it okay what what is all this what there's visitors this uh, i'm getting overwhelmed i'm gonna do like i do with my mail and just delete it all just shred everything and pretend i didn't get it <laughs> i just came out and accepted the gifts they got me and ignored the neighbors they're like i know you're in there i can hear the christmas music <laughs> hello there jenny smith that is definitely a fake name you just don't want to hang out with me Wait, what? Where did you come from? He came from inside my house. How did you get in? I don't understand where you came from and I you're just leaving. Okay, goodbye. Yep, he's gone. And my carpool is here. Jenny is just here to use the bathroom. Does the Christmas house music help or make it harder? <laughs> oh, there's a psychic who wants to like love match him up with someone. Okay, great. When I'm back from work, I'll talk to you. <laughs> he's, he's gone in to be a stand-up comedian with zero charisma. Let's get him a mirror so he can talk to himself. I guess much like I do for a living. I'm glad he doesn't have neighbors. He just leaves this on while he's at work. <laughs> Blasting. He's home from work and he's catching fireflies. Okay. Okay, you know what? This music is weird. So I'm gonna throw a house party to make it more normal. I only know one person. Okay. 
<laughs> Come on over. <laughs> I don't even know that guy who was in my house. Hey, welcome to the party. Um, sorry there are no chairs, but I hope you like the music. <laughs> oh no, he's flirting. Oh, this is so awkward. It's just the two of them. He invited her over for a party and there's no one here. Christmas music blasting. Okay, I'm gonna have to spice it up a little bit. I have to buy something. Uh, what can I get? I could get a guitar. Okay, never mind. I can't afford the guitar. I'll just get this freestanding microphone to do some stand-up comedy for you. Perform stand-up comedy. This is gonna be the most awkward experience of her life. Just shut up, Kevin. Wait, did I have my mic on? <laughs> Kevin, what the fuck? Sorry, dude. I didn't realize I had my mic on. I was just practicing. Who the fuck practices bop it? Chris was using blasting. He's just doing stand-up comedy to just her as she has left the room. This is embarrassing. Oh, he's never gonna sleep again. He's gonna lay awake at night just thinking about this moment. I don't think he's even doing stand-up comedy. I think he's just having a panic attack. Why are you bowing? There's no one in the room. Oh, she came back in. That's why. She can't hear you over the sound of eating her own chips. I imagine both the music and the crisps are drowning you out completely. I think she just came over here for the food. All right, it's still a snoozer. Kevin, go make some meals in the microwave for the party. Oh, God damn it. He burnt the last one. Ah, oh, for feck's sake. Okay, you know what? You can have that. Don't look at me like that, all right? <laughs> I just say she ate all my chips already. Like, you're hungry. You deserve the good meal. God, that's kind of creepy when he made direct eye contact with the camera, do you think? Do you think that's a little weird? when you make intense direct eye contact? Maybe not. I don't know. This party just continues to get more awkward. She's trying to get around me and I'm blocking the way. Okay, the only thing that'll save this is changing into my formal wear. Oh wait, I just realized what I, what I said is formal wear to him. He's like, oh, let me slip into something more comfortable. And goes out dressed as Santa. Combined with the music, this is just, uh, it really pulls the party together, I think. Anyway, get ready for some more awkward stand-up comedy as you eat all of my food. I think she's stress eating. I think that's what this is. There we go. Doing some dancing. Is that working? Have a great party. How do I get rid of a want? Because that's not going to happen. No, don't lock it. Get rid of it. Delete. I'm going to lock the be friends with Jenny because I think I'm almost there. How, how's it looking so far? 38. Not bad. Why are you going to bed? <laughs> He's like, well, this party's getting a bit out of control for my liking. I'm heading to bed. Congratulations on hosting a terrific party. What? What about this spells terrific to you? It's 4.42 a.m. I I went to bed for a while. There's food all over the place. The snowman's blasting. <laughs> and she's been stress eating all night. Final party score, not bad. Okay, if you if you say so. And that apparently completed the great party? Okay. I don't know where the line is from not bad and great, but apparently they, they kind of mold together. I'm turning off the Christmas music. I've had enough. <laughs> Even though I think that's kind of what saved the party, surprisingly. Oh, oh, I don't know if I like that. Now it's like eerily silent. Now I can hear my thoughts. Nope. Nothing really going on up there, actually. Oh, 9 a.m. You know what that means. Some impromptu stand-up comedy by myself. There we go. Got a skill point from that. I'm going to go find Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> she better be careful. Call taxi. I can't even remember how to feckin' get around in this game. Bills already? Are you serious? There's gotta be a high electricity bill from that bloody snowman, isn't there? I shouldn't have left that on all day and night. I can't go visit her. What? I can only go to the community lot? Okay, let's go. Pay bills, 68. You couldn't charge me one dollar more for the meme, could you? Bastards. What the hell is this? What? I didn't make this place. This is just in the game. What? Why is this a pool? Okay, I guess I'll go for a swim. I I feel like a sim that falls for one of my traps now. Like, this feels stupid. I don't know why you would get into this pool. Also, I hate the music they got on here. It needs to be more Christmassy. Wait, the stand-up got me creativity, not charisma. Oh, for feck's sake. Oh my god. What the hell? What is that music? What? Okay, I'll just ignore it and pretend everything is fine. I'm gonna buy some groceries. I don't know what I'm buying, but I hope it's microwavable. <laughs> oh, this is 
sad. I keep an eye out, by the way. You've got an unsavory charlatan in this building. Like, literally, that, that is literally his name. Look at that. <laughs> what is he doing? Wait, why are you patting him on the head? That's not a child, is it? No, that is an adult. Why are you letting him do that? Why are they all fighting? Look at him. He's like a cartoon villain. They're just looking over their shoulders. Creepy as hell. Hey, everyone. I brought hot dogs unprompted. Why are you doing that? Why are you serving out hot dogs to these people you don't know? What is he doing? Is this the groceries you bought? I hope it's not because we don't have enough money to be feeding everyone in the neighborhood. First of all, where did you find them? And second of all, where did you cook them? I don't see any barbecue. I'm so... Oh, there is the barbecue. Okay, I was so confused. He's feeding everyone and it doesn't make any sense. Good evening, sir. Your hot dog. <laughs> the guy's like, thank you so much. You have such good service here. He's like, oh, no, I, I don't work here. I'm just doing this for fun. Anyway, enjoy the hot dog. Oh, God, was that someone vomiting? If you're vomiting and you got food poisoning, it's nothing to do with me, by the way. I don't work here. You can't sue me. <laughs> I'm doing this for fun. Oh, no. Now he's talking to them from the next table. He's like, hey, these hot dogs are pretty good, right? I'm so glad we are all hanging out here as friends together. <laughs> no one has even made eye contact with them. He looks so sad. All right, you know what? I'm going home. This has just been an all-around depressing experience. Got to get a picture first of hanging out with my friends. <laughs> just take a picture of them. I don't think I even spoke to either of them. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is going on here? What is this? What? Who are you? Are you casting a spell on me? Can you make people like me, please? I have a popularity aspiration, but nobody likes me at all. I'm taking her cat for a walk. I don't know if this is a good idea. Like, not only is it kind of weird to take a cat for a walk. Wait, where the hell did it go? Okay, maybe that cat was just imaginary. But I was... Oh, what the hell? Jesus, she's a lunatic. I was about to say, uh, not only is taking a cat for a walk a little bit odd to begin with, but taking another person's cat who also seems to be a witch of some sort seems dangerous. I bought you a telescope so you can spy on the neighbors. You now only have $14 to your name. Wait, who are you? What were you just doing? Were they fighting in the back? Garden. Who is this dude? He just shows up. I hate him for some reason. His name is Vidkund Curious. I'm curious why the hell you keep coming over here. Ask out on date. Okay, let's ask that lady out on a date. What was her name? Jenny Smith. Jenny, is that work working? Oh no, who are you? Are you her husband? Uh, pollination tech number nine Smith? You probably are. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. Will you stop? I'm just spying on the neighbors. Feck off. I don't know who he is. He keeps showing up. I wonder, does he live there? Oh, that's the Smith house. Okay. Would you like to play the slot? No, I, I want to go visit. Will you feckin' stop? I'm spying on the Smiths, not the curious. And in fact, if you're so curious, you're probably spying on me. Like, if you're seeing me spying, you're probably spying on me spying. <laughs> Maybe if I confuse him enough, he'll leave. I like how I just go right back to it before he's even off the lot. I don't know if I've ever seen minus 97 and minus 98 on the relationship tab. Community lot or your place? The home. Okay, now you're just inviting yourself into my house. How do I kill? How do I kill on The Sims 2? Was there a murder expansion? Oh no, I stink. I stink. Hold on. Stinkies. Hold on one second. Stinkies. I need to clean up. Greet. Okay, greet and then go clean up. Yeah, even she was like, no, 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 you stink. Wait, what are you doing? Stop. Stop microwaving smelly food. Just talk to her. Talk to her. Why is she coming on a date with me if she's married to the alien dude? Maybe they're not married. I don't know. All right. I'm going in for the charm. What was that? Hunger desperation? Oh, God. That thing is smoking. All right. She's like, is something burning? Oh, that's just my loins for you, Jenny Smith. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That is the kitchen. Sorry. Remember earlier when I talk, talked about the foreshadowing? Look at this. It's gone to horrible. This date is falling apart. Uh, God. Call the fire department. Hold on. Okay, can you get some urgency? Oh, stop panicking and call the emergency service. Time is running out. Do you mean for the date or your lives? Because there are more important things right now than the date. Will you stop and just call the emergency department, please? Yes, he's on the phone. Fire station. Holy heck, that date was incredibly bad. You're the worst time I ever had. Let's not ever do that again. Holy crap. That. Oh, no, that was awful. Wait, I just died, I think. What did I I die from? Did I just die of hunger? <laughs> 
<laughs> Did I legit just die of hunger? I like how I can still interact. Pose. Hands on hips for your death scene. Gotta run. Please be more careful next time. Do you not gather from this that there probably isn't gonna be a next time? If the point of playing The Sims 2 was to kill off all your Sims, then you would be the world champion. I'm gonna stop reading there. So is it just over? Is that it? Have I lost? Luckily, I think I saved it just a few minutes ago. Do you want to save? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alternate reality. Oh, hear that ding? Yeah, get the food. Get the food. The ding means it's done. Like, who would set their microwave to just infinite on the time? You always set the time you want it to be done in. Well, Jenny, as you can see, I'm pretty responsible taking the food out of the microwave like that. I hope that uh, impresses you. Now I'm eating the stinky food with flies on it. Uh, I hope that impresses you as well. Wait, can I see their wants? Talk to call me Kevin. I'm just going to work on her wants. Be friends. I can lock her wants. Play. Don't, don't even finish the conversation. Just cancel. I just want to get her wants done. Dine out. No, why would we dine out when we got a perfectly good microwave right here? Oh, it's, call me Kevin is sick with food poisoning. It turns out whether he took the food out or not, they both were bad endings. Give gift. Yes, give gift. That's a good idea. Oh, all I have is my computer. Okay, yeah, take the computer. <laughs> there you go. God, he's just trying to buy her friendship. All right, that helped the date a lot. <laughs> the buying her friendship is working. The problem is I don't really have the money to be giving away a computer. <laughs> I have $14. What does she want? Kiss, get back rub, get flirted with. Okay, we can do all of this. Yes, we're up into gray territory. Money can buy you happiness. I like how all of her wants and fears are like related to this date and my guys meanwhile like see the ghost of Vidkund. <laughs> I do want to see him dead, I suppose. Every now and again, he just turns directly to the camera and freaks the hell out. Just she keeps trying to walk away, but I keep pulling her back. Where are you running off to now? Oh, he's vomiting. Okay, that's fair enough. Hey, um, turn around. Don't look in the bathroom. I like how he finished off the feckin' sandwich that poisoned him to begin with. Oh, there he goes again. Great. Fantastic. I, I told you not to come in here. What the hell? He he's freaking out. He wants more food, I think. Okay, great. They're friends now. That's all they wanted. I will never speak to you again. <laughs> I just needed it for work. I needed a friend. But what I really need is to see the ghost of Vidkund. I've locked that in. All right, let's call over Vidkund. I have a feeling he's not going to come over is the only problem. I'm waiting for the phone repair, man. Vidkund. <laughs> Ah, I hate you. All right, I know how to get you over here. I'll just start looking through my telescope and then you'll show up. There you are, right on cue. Oh, wait, I can't afford to build a wall around him. I guess I'll sell that project that I'm never going to complete. Oh, I lost money on that one. There we go. Now it's like some sick, twisted petting zoo or something. All right, enjoy your time, Vidkund. It's fun to watch him run around in there like that. I'm going to take my telescope, though, because I don't want you having fun. And in fact, I'm going to feckin' use it on front of you because you've been such a bastard about me using my telescope. And now there's nothing you can do about it. Look at this. Look at me looking through it. What are you gonna do? Jump that waist-high fence? I don't think so. Oh, no, the dog has showed up to teach me a lesson. All right, I'm, I'm going inside. Oh, now he's weeping. Look at that. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? What? That outing was great. I thought I'd get you this rug. Okay, thank you. I'll sell it for money. Thank you very much. Before she's even off the lot, I've sold it. I mean, I just get vomit all over it anyway. I keep getting sick everywhere. Got my charisma point. I'm ready for a promotion. Vidkund says you invited me to spend the night, but then you didn't let me get any sleep. I'm leaving. Uh, Vidkund, you were never invited. Ever, actually. You kept just coming over of your own accord. And good luck with that I'm leaving part. The hell is that? Fighting? Oh, it's two dogs. Okay, work away. If you want to eat anyone, eat Vidkund. I think he's passed out from heat stroke, so he's an easy target. <laughs> I'm liking this odd mix of Christmas music and Vidkund crying. Vidkund, you keep saying you're leaving, but you're not going anywhere. Ah, promotion. Promotion. Well done. Yeah, I'll vomit to that one. You know, Vidkun, since I got a promotion, I'm going to give you a little paddling pool to have a little fun. Oh, I got another promotion. Wait, I didn't realize I was a clown. Oh, that's kind of sad. But I just got promoted to mime, so I, I guess that's better. I think because he's trying to leave, he can't actually die. You know what I'll do? I'll set him free for a day and then invite him back. Off he goes. He must be so relieved. <laughs> Maybe he's learned his lesson. Maybe he won't come back when I start looking through my telescope. Oh, no, no, he is not. Okay, welcome, Vidkund, to your death. Look at that. 
Vidkund, you got so much freedom now. Your pen is so much larger. Oh, look at that, Vidkund. You're enjoying your pool. Have a great time in there, I'm sure. It's to die for. <laughs> no, I shouldn't do the evil laugh. That always gives away the idea. No, oh, God damn it. What have I done? He keeps going on there and then chickening out. Yes, he went in. Okay, good, Vidkund. See, if you don't do the evil laugh, they're much less likely to back out of it. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, do the final touches of the evil plan. There we go. Now it's all come together. Now I can get rid of this wall. In fact, I can get rid of the diving board as well, so no one else will go in there. It's probably a good idea. You invited me to spend the night, but then you didn't let me get any sleep. I'm leaving. Well, good luck with that, Vidkun. I don't know whether he's gonna die or be an eternal prisoner of that swimming pool, but either way, I'm fine with it. All right, Vidkun. Well, I'll start digging your grave while you take your little swim, but I think that's all we have time for today. If you enjoyed, let me know. I would be down to continue the, the YouTuber family here if you want to see more of it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Regulars, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye for now.